Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to suppress warnings, how to turn off those warning messages whenever you run update, append, make table, or delete queries, otherwise known as action queries, in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Rudy from San Bernardino, California. Took me three takes to get that right. A platinum member. Rudy says, I keep getting this message that says you are about to run an append query that will modify data in your table every time I click a button to import my daily sales leads. It's annoying. Is there any way to turn this off? Yes, of course, Rudy. There's a couple things you can do. One is you can turn off all of the confirmation messages for all of the action queries in your database. If you don't know what an action query is, I have another video on action queries. Go watch that video. It's on my website and on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below. Basically, an action query is something that's going to change data in your database, whether it's an update or, in your case, an append, which means it's going to add records onto the end of a table. Delete queries are dangerous. They can delete all kinds of stuff and then make table queries. So Microsoft, by default, warns you if it's going to do any of this stuff. You might not want that warning, so I'll show you how to turn it off. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. You can download a copy of this template if you want to. It's on my website. There will be a link down below. Go grab it if you want. Now, let's first see what the error message is that Rudy is getting. So if I have an, let's make an update query. All right, query design. Let's bring in the customer table. Okay, and let's just set all of the customer states to New York. I know, it's a silly query, but the point is to show you the error message. Okay. So let's make it an update query, and we're going to update all of the customers to New York. Okay, save it. We'll just call this update one Q. Okay, now close that. If I run this query, see it's an update query. Okay, whether I run it right here from the navigation pane or I have a button that run runs the query, it doesn't matter. Okay, run the query, and you get this. You're about to run an update query that will modify data in your table. Do you want to run this? Yeah. Okay. Then it warns you again, you're about to update six rows. Are you sure? Once you do it, you can't undo this. You can't reverse the changes. Say yes. Okay, now, that's a good query, and it ran. If you check your customers, let's check the customer list. Actually, we'll have, let's take a look at the table, customer table. They're all New York now. Okay, the query did its job. But that's annoying, especially if you do this a couple times a day. Rudy, for example, has a button he wants to click on and import his uh, new leads for the day. He showed me a copy of it. He's just importing from an Excel sheet that he gets from one of his vendors. He buys leads. Okay, but every time he clicks that to import, it goes with two warning messages and then, you know, um, uh, a, a confirmation at the end. Are you sure? So how do we turn those warning messages off? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. One is you can turn off action query confirmations for the entire database. And, and if you make this change, it's a system level change. So it will affect all databases on your, on your computer. Now, generally, if you know what you're doing, okay, this is fine. If you consider yourself more than just a, an absolute novice, then feel free to make this change. The second thing you can do is turn off warning messages each time you run a query with some code. I'll show that in the extended cut for the members. But for everybody else, I'll just show you how to turn these messages off. We're going to go up to File and then Options. Then we're going to go to Client Settings. And right down here, you'll see confirm. There's record changes, document deletions, and action queries. Now, I'm going to do another video on record changes and document deletions. But for now, action queries is the one we want. Okay, I'm actually going to turn off document deletions. So that, that gives you a prompt every time you delete a record. And there's some pros and cons with that one. I'll talk about this in a different video. But action queries is what we're going to turn off. I'll hit OK now. You must close and reopen the current database for the specified option to take effect. Yeah, you should, but you don't really have to. Most of the time, they just give you that warning message as like to cover themselves. But 99% of the time, the changes will take effect immediately. All right, so let's go back into the customer T and just make a few changes here. Let's put this person in Texas, and we'll put this person in Florida. Okay, close it. Now let's run that update query again. Ready? I'm going to double-click. Okay, I double-clicked. Nothing appeared to happen. Why? I turned off the confirmations. Open up the customer T again, and there you go. So it ran the action query without asking you, are you sure you want to run the action query twice? 
All right, same thing for delete queries and update queries and make table queries and all that stuff. So there you go, Rudy. That's how you turn off the action query confirmation messages. Want to learn more? In the extended cut for members, I show you how to suppress warnings in VBA code so you can turn them on and off whenever you want with one line of code and one command, set warnings. I'll show you that in the extended cut for members only. As a reminder, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.